What are you crying for? Yes, it is frustrating. Doing your hair is very frustrating. But it is something we all have to learn. This is your first time doing it, so it's okay that it's not going to come out perfect. That's why we keep on practicing. I promise you, when I started doing my hair, I was damn sure not doing it correctly. And I, I, I didn't have anyone to guide me in doing it. I'm here to help you. I'm not upset. But I'm going to show you how to do it correctly. Okay? Well, child, so the beginning of that video was Kalia breaking down in frustration because she was trying to style her hair and she was just having a hard time. The parting is the hardest part for her right now. Um, but right here, she's doing her wash day and she is doing so good with the wash in her hair. I'm just trying to transition her into uh, styling her hair. So this is just our very first video of me showing you guys how I'm teaching and coaching Kalia through styling her hair. So this is very, very, very beginner friendly because my child has no skills whatsoever when it comes to uh, doing her hair because she's had mommy helping her the whole way through. And as you can see, mommy still is right there helping her the whole way through. I, I'm going to guide her as, as much as I can and be encouraging the best way that I can, by all, but also keeping it real because I don't sugarcoat nothing for my kids. I'm very much realistic and I'm going to let them know what it is. So anyways, before we get even further into this video, if you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. We would greatly appreciate having you here. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's go ahead and get into it. So Kalia is freshly washing. As you can see, she did not rinse out all of her conditioner. Though Those bubbles and webbing that you're seeing in between her hair, that, that's conditioner. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's the conditioner. Um, she's trying, though. But I, I wasn't going to be like, baby, you ain't rinsing this out. Go, go do it. You know, I just rolled with it. I just put some water in there and kind of just wrung it out the best way I could. And now I'm sectioning off her hair. I'm going to show y'all what she's supposed to be doing. And then I'm going to allow her to do the front. And Kalia has a overwhelming amount of hair. So I, I just knew, you know, breaking her in, I should just allow her to do the front half of her hair and I'll just do the back half. I think she got so frustrated and I just felt bad. I ended up just having her do one of the four sections and I just did all three. So going in with those Pattern Beauty products because I speak highly of those. They work great on Kalia's hair, definitely softens her curls, helps with detangling and moisturizing her hair. And with her having curly mixed hair, she does experience dryness and her hair can appear dry and frizzy these products definitely help with that and I have them linked in our Amazon storefront we buy the jumpette sizes baby because do you see all that hair what's some regular little bottles gonna do absolutely nothing they gonna last two days and I'm gonna have to take another trip to Ulta to pick up some more so I buy the big old jumbo sizes and it I've had them for three months now and they have I'm, I don't think I've, I'm even halfway through them. So definitely great amount of product for your money. So I'm sectioning off her hair and I'm gonna do probably about three braids per section. So she's gonna have a total of 12 braids because we're gonna do a braid out or a twist out. We're gonna do a twist out. I felt like doing twists was a very simple and easy way. Everybody know how to twist, right? Not everybody knows how to braid. So I felt like this was a great beginner friendly style for her to do. And I like to go in and detangle with a uh, wide uh, pick comb. And I like the pick comb because he has these really, really long teeth. So it's gonna make sure I get through the entire section. And then I go behind it with a detangling brush to smooth it out. Now I'm gonna go in with the Pattern Beauty Style Cream. And this is pretty much like a twisting cream, a very heavy and thick you know, alternative to a leave-in conditioner. If you like to use the lock method where you use a lock cream and an oil, this is gonna be your second step for any kind of twist out, braid out, or any kind of wash and go style. So I, I go ahead and section off her hair and I like to do a rope twist. When I do my twist outs for Kalia's hair, she has these soft S curls. So I feel like a tight twist gives her the best definition. And a rope twist is pretty much just twisting while twisting. 
and you're gonna have to hold that twist very much close to the base. When you do have that nice tight rope twist, it gives you such a beautiful juicy twist and it doesn't unravel on you. And you don't want the twist to unravel, especially if you have Kalia's texture. So you're going to hear some very helpful tips for your beginner if you have a daughter trying to learn how to style her hair as well. And I hope this is video, video is helpful. And let me know if y'all would love to see more content of Kalia trying to style her hair. This is definitely going to give a different perspective on our video videos from what we usually post here. Get your entire strand of your hair. You have a lot of hair. Now let's start detangling. Start at, thank you. Sometimes when you have a big knot like that, it's just easier to put the comb down and use your fingers. Cause that's a pretty big knot. The comb's probably not gonna get that. And you just pull it apart. Don't rip it apart, but pull it apart. If it starts hurting, that means you're pulling something that shouldn't be pulled, okay? And there you go, now try again with the comb. because the roots are always gonna be the hardest. It's where all your growth starts. So that's the thickest part of your hair. All right, watch, watch your comb. There you go. Sometimes you might need to change the angle of where you're pulling. Sometimes you might need to pull from up here. Sometimes you need to comb from right here. So always adjust accordingly to where you need to get to the roots. Yep, make sure you get those ends. When it comes to adding product, you always want to start at your ends. Your ends are the oldest part of your hair, so they usually need the most product. All right, let's get our brush to make sure we smooth it all through. Yeah, there you go, start at your roots. There you go. Good job. That looks good. All right, let's brush it out a little bit because we got a little tangled at the bottom. All right. All right, and then pull through. When I say pull through, yeah, twirl, and then there you go, like that. All done. <laughs> oh my God.
cutting at it to pull it up. Thank you. 